Good morning, I'm Jeline Andrews. For more than 50 years, The Connection has provided programs across the state to homeless individuals, helping them get back on their feet and contribute to society. And at the same time, fostering a strong bond in the communities they provide these services. It really feels good. I know at the end of the day I can come home and no one bothers me and I'm safe. I'm actually, I'm safe. That sense of security wasn't always present in Lisa Rivera's life. I was homeless. I felt like I was in this world by myself. She says her life took a turn for the better three years ago when she moved into this one bedroom apartment and started receiving services from the Connections Ross Center for Supportive Housing Program. A program that provides housing and, and wraparound case management to people who have uh, chronic homelessness and mental health. It has a stellar reputation. It's been around for a very long time. Lisa Dematis Lapori, CEO of The Connection, says individualized case management services provide guidance to help clients get back on their feet. It can't just be housing. It's more than housing. Housing is important, but again, what case management does is help people with, you know, activities of daily living, how to manage, you know, getting a job or how to use public transportation or how to, you know, function as a, a responsible individual in a community. Rivera says her case manager checks in frequently and it's made a difference in her life. Actually, she calls me once a week. Um, I'm see. I see him like once a month, but she actually, if I don't call her, she'll call me. <laughs> she keeps up. Um, they help me a lot. This is what is so fabulous about this program and other programs that provide supportive housing is that we're able to <clears throat> completely lower the recidivism rate of homelessness. And the connection works to cultivate a positive relationship with the communities where its programs are offered. In the Dwight neighborhood, staff members attend community meetings. It's a really great opportunity to brainstorm about things happening in, in the Elm City and how we can come together to um, not only be a part of it, but to also provide resources to each other. So the organization can continue to improve the lives of people across the region. People like Rivera, who use the tools and resources she was given to improve her life. You have to meet them halfway. They can't do all the work for you. It's got to be half and half. Don't give up. All I, all I can say is don't give up. To learn more, visit theconnectioninc.org. For Connecticut's Morning Buzz, I'm Jillian Andrews.